hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials youtube channel today in this video we are going to create this search box here in this search box you can see i have added one drop down menu here here you can select the different category you can see if i click on electronics in this search box you can see the message search in electronics if i select fashion here you can see the message search in fashion if i select all categories here you will see the message search in all categories so we are going to create this beautiful search bar using html css and javascript before starting this video i would like to thanks bluehost for sponsoring this video bluehost is the website where you can get the domain name and web hosting for your website bluehost provides very affordable and powerful hosting with 99.99% uptime here you can get the wordpress hosting e-commerce hosting shared hosting dedicated hosting and vps hosting with any of the web hosting plan, you will get free domain name for one year, SSD storage, unmetered bandwidth, SSL production, a speed boosting CDN and many other features that you can see in these price plan. I will give the Bluehost link in the description where you can click and directly come to this web page. If you need help in how to host your website with Bluehost, I have dedicated video on this one. You can find that video link in the description. Now let's start this video. Here in this folder, I have added one index.html file and one style.css file and I have one icon which is one arrow icon. Let me open these code file with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. So this is the HTML file where I have added basic HTML structures and this one is the CSS file. Here I have added link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file because here I have added href style.css. Now we will add the code in the body tag that will be displayed on our web page. So here we will create a div with the class name container and next we will add the CSS for this container. So just add this class name in the CSS file and here we will add the background. After that we will add the width and height. Then we will add display flex, align items center and justify content center so that the search box will be in the center of this container. After adding this, let me come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this color on the complete web page. Let me come back to our HTML file. Here we will create one div with the class name search bar. In this search bar, there will be a select option where you can select the category and there will be one input field where you can type the text so first we will create one select field so here we will add one div with the id select within this one we have to add the text in p tag all categories then we will add one drop down icon so here we will add image tag then file name of the image and after that there will be list of categories so here we will add ul and li in this li we will add the text all categories and with this list we will add one class name it is options let me duplicate it and here we will change the category name it will be electronics after adding this let's come back to the web page again and here you can see this text all categories then we have the list and this drop down icon let me come back and here we will add one input box also so after closing of this div which is for the select you can see it is closing here so after this one we will add one input box let's add input type will be text and placeholder in this placeholder we will add search in all categories let me refresh the web page here you can see this input box also now we have to design all these things so let's come back and here we have the class name called search bar just add it here in this css file and for this search bar we have to add the background so the background will be white 
then we will add the width width will be 90 percent and max width will be 800 pixel then we have to add the display flex and uh, some padding padding will be 2 pixel then we will add border radius it will be 4 pixel now you can see the white background for this search bar let's come back and here in this search bar you can see we have added one div with the id select so copy this id write it here with the hashtag and for this one we will add the background so the background will be another color code then we will add display display will be flex and after that align items center justify content space between so that the text and drop down icon will be side by side after that we will add the color it will be the text color and next we have to add the width so the width will be 300 pixel then some padding and cursor will be pointer here you can see this text and this drop down icon is very weak so let me decrease its size just come back and copy this id select then write img and for this image we will add the width it will be very small 15 pixel so it is a small right now now we have to change the position of these list which is all categories electronics furniture sports fashion so let's come back and here in this select we will add the position relative and in this select we have added the list with the ul tag so here we will add ul position will be absolute then top it will be 120 percent left will be zero then list style none then we will add the background so background will be white after that we have to add the color which is the text color then we will add width width will be 100 percent border radius will be same 4 pixel again refresh the website now you can see these list below the search bar next we have to add some spacing so let's come back and here just copy this one then write li so for these list we will add some padding it will be 10 pixel and 20 pixel then cursor will be pointer now you can see we have proper space between all the categories name here you can see the search word is very small so we have to increase the size of this search word and we will also remove this border so let's come back here we will add this class name search word in this search word we have added input field so write input and for this input field we will add some spacing so just add padding then we will add the width after that we will add the border none and outline none then we will add font size now you can see this entire search bar is looking good in this select also we have to add the border radius so let me come back and here we will add border radius 4 pixel so now it is looking good right now you can see this drop down menu is visible so we have to hide this one it will be hidden it will be visible whenever we will click on this select box so let's come back to hide this one here in this ul we have to add the max height we will add the max height it will be zero so it will be hidden then we have to add the overflow hidden and let's add some transition also so we will add transition 
max height 0 0.5 seconds now you can see this drop down menu is hidden now we have to display it using javascript so let me come back to the html file here just above this closing body tag we will add a script tag a script open and closing tag and in this one we have to add some variables so you can see here we have added the id select so let's create variable for this one here we will add let select equal to document dot get element by id select here in this ul we will add one id so we will add the id called list duplicate this line here we will add let list equal to document dot get element by id list like this after that we will copy this one select and here let's add select dot on click equal to function in this function we will add list dot class list dot toggle and here we have to add a class name that will hide and display the drop down menu so let's come back to the css file and here we will add this select ul then write dot open this open class name will open and close the drop down menu so here we will add max height it will be 300 pixel that's it so just copy this open class name and write it here class list dot toggle open after adding this let's come back to the web page again and if i click here you can see it will display the drop down menu and if i click again it will hide the menu so this click is working it is opening and closing the drop down menu but right now if i click on any category the same thing is not selected here it should display over here where we have written all categories and it should also reflect in this search bar for that let's come back here in this p we will add one id select text just copy this one and duplicate this line let's select text and here also select text after that here we have the options so for these options class name also we will create variable so here we will duplicate this one here we will add options equal to document dot get elements by class name and the class name is options after adding this here we have to add one for loop for option of options in this one we will add option dot on click equal to function and in this function we will add the select text dot inner html equal to this dot inner html after adding this let's come back to the web page now you can see if i click on furniture the furniture is displaying here in this select box if i click on sports sports is displaying here if i click on fashion it is displaying here now we have to change the text in this search bar so let's come back and for this search bar also we will add one id here in this input field we will add one id called uh, input field copy this one and let's create one variable for this one 
let me duplicate this line and here we will add input field and input field next we have to change the text in this input field so here in this function we will add input field dot placeholder placeholder equal to we will add the message search in then plus this one select text dot inner html that's it after adding this let's refresh the website again and now you can see if i click on any category here you can see the message search in fashion if i click on furniture it is saying search in furniture if i click on electronics here it is displaying search in electronics and if i click on all categories here it is displaying the message search in all categories so this is how we have created this beautiful search bar with drop down option i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.